championships. Uh, which one feels better, I guess? Yeah, definitely this one, man. It's always always the current one. Um, it's been a, a great season so far. Still making progress still, but I'm excited for where it's going. Obviously, with the Cordell Tinch Finch in the field, uh, when he ran the world leading time, I mean, he was going to be a problem in that race. Was there any thought going to that race that he was going to be an issue? I mean, obviously, I know like who the top people are. I know the times that they run, so thought about it, but I try to focus on my lane, focus on executing my race the best that I can so I can be in a great position come Worlds to uh, win and medal for the team, USA. Even though you won, do you feel everything was executed? No, not at all. I hit a few hurdles pretty bad. Um, but like I said, it's the U.S. Championship. The goal is to make the team, and we did that today. So I'll get back in the lab and get back to work uh, before Worlds for sure. I'd like all the other athletes to hook this race against each other all the time. Uh, was it slightly surprising that uh, the Holloway didn't run the final, or is you different to that? No, I mean, I knew that was their plan all the time. I mean, I'm really close with Grant. We talk about these things all the time. Um, he, he planned on coming in and doing two rounds because he had to buy. Probably just to get like, stay sharp, you know, get some rounds in against good competition. So it wasn't a surprise at all. Talking about the pros, like how do you know that Alan Johnson's working for you and what you have learned from him? Um, the biggest thing is just I, I can tell through practice and competitions how much he trusts me and how much he believes in me, and that just gives me more confidence when I'm going out there. We work on so many small things that I never heard of from my other coaches because technically, I mean, Coach Johnson was one of the greatest to ever do it, so I can fully trust him, and it just makes practice that much easier. Um, a lot of things was just the way that I attacked the hurdle, um, keeping my shoulders forward coming off instead of like bringing them back, and that's why I was hitting a lot of hurdles in past years. So things like that, small things like that, to help me stay clean. And when you're clean, you can run faster. So. How about the mental part, like he's been winning, you know, he did win so many. Um, the mental part has been, I, I definitely would say that's that's more dedicated to my faith, just staying, staying in the world, staying, uh, I guess, grounded and not putting too much pressure on myself when it comes to track. Like, I love this, but it's more than anything an opportunity for me to share my faith, share what God is doing through me and allowing me to worship Him by going out there and running the best and the fastest I can over those 10 hurdles, for sure. Which hurdle did you hit? Six? I might have hit one before that. The first five, I don't ever remember. But I want to say like six or seven, I hit pretty hard. And I could feel feel him kind of coming and I was like oh, just make it through make it through but I know I was top three so I wasn't too worried <laughs> you talk about the love for the sport how are you as well as other athletes helping to promote the sport because obviously it was on NBC this year but I mean this sport is growing year in and year out so how are you helping with that I mean the biggest thing right now I mean social media is huge for us like whatever it is, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, just sharing your things. Because when I was a young athlete, all I wanted to see was what the pros were doing. So small things like that, just daily stuff that we do. Um, on top of that, I do um, a camp. Well, I did my first one, a hurdle camp back at home in Georgia for like middle school, high school kids. Just small things like that to share the you know excitement and the love for the sport that people can feed off of. And uh, hopefully that helps us grow even more. But like you said, the sport is growing. And I'm excited for where it's going in the next few years for sure. Thank you. Thank you guys.